or die a few years after all, when stacked atop thousands more. There's something I didn't tell you before. I think Amanda might not have died down there. Is that what this is about? Closure? Isn't that what it's all about? Why we dig up the past? To understand it? I am an engineer, Lara. I build for the future. I don't dwell in the past. You will someday. Eventually everyone does. Lara! Get down here, you slacker! Jason says we're about to break through! In a minute, Amanda! We have some structural concerns. Would you just get down here? I don't like it. Are you sure you're reading it properly? That thing is coming. You have a better idea? The door might be trapped. We're trapped! Ah. Oh, God! honest, I think this is a terrible idea. Everyone agreed to leave things as they were. I will as much as I can. But from what Rutland said, I'm sure there's a clue down there about what killed my mother. I have to go back. There's no use trying to enter at the same point. It's caved in. The river had to get in there somehow. I'll leave you to figure out the how. I can't go down there. I'm sorry. It's fine, really. If there's any trouble, call Zip and he'll patch you through. Don't take any chances. I'm not losing any more of my friends. Her father was king, 
but she was lost and raised by a warrior. She became queen after a shaman named Tunupa discovered her royal heritage. Tunupa is another name for Viracocha, their god of creation. The shaman brought her to Lake Titicaca, where she borrowed his staff, an object of great power. According to myth, Viracocha originally lived in the lake. The god of indoor plumbing. She led her people into an era of peace. After many years of wise and just rule, there was some sort of power struggle. She died shortly thereafter, and she was carried off in a boat to paradise. The Queen's Shaman. A dais with a sword set into it, or in this case, Viracocha's staff. This is it. Do you believe it's the same one we saw in Tuanaku? There's more than just one dais, but possibly. anything familiar about her sword. That's what Rutland was holding. Except this is just a ceremonial copy. And what do we have here? The tip has broken off. My God. I had no idea it looked like this. I've seen this before, at Waseda University in Japan. But I didn't know it had anything to do with these artifacts. Yeah, I'll get a hold of them right now. It's not there anymore. It was stolen by Shogo Takamoto. Takamoto? Yakuza has nothing to mess with Lara. I don't care, Zip. I want that piece. Arrange a meeting. Okay, but... Hang on. I got Anaya calling on her cell. I'm patching her through. Lara! Lara, can you hear me? Those bastards from town are here, and they're coming down after you. Well, this is a tomb. I'll make them feel at home. I hope you found what you were looking for because I am never coming here again. I was right. This is all she left behind. She got out and didn't tell us? Why has she been hiding all these years? Maybe not hiding, exactly. Just not keeping in touch with old friends. Perhaps she found or learned something down there that she wanted to keep to herself. Zip, did you speak to Takamoto? Eventually. He didn't want to see you, so I reminded him how much you hate the word no. I'm a horrible conversationalist. I trust he wants to get together on neutral ground. You'll love this. He wants to meet at Toto Nishimura's offices across the street from his penthouse. Nishimura? Takamoto doesn't know we're friends. Nope. All he knows is Nishimura's hosting a corporate party tomorrow night, and you'll meet him there. Better and better. All right then, I'm heading there straight away. I need to find something to wear, though. What exactly happened last time you and Takamoto got together? He was trying to pass off forged relics from the Asuka period, and conventional reason doesn't work with Yakuza. But you let him go. And now we're going to have a useful conversation. It's turned out quite nicely. Welcome, Lara. You have been enjoying my little party. Totemo tanoshinde yamas, Nisimura-san. When Takamoto arrives, however, it may cause you some inconvenience. Take care. He is a very dangerous man when his interests differ from yours. You'd be amazed how persuasive I can be, even with dangerous men. I am convinced. I am dangerous too, you remember. But please, enjoy the party while you can, and good luck. Brief, Miss Croft. I have many demands on my time, you understand? Of course, Takamoto-san. I am looking for a piece, a sword fragment, in the care of Waseda University, or it was until you stole it. <laughs> I am not a thief. Then you would be wise to avoid such accusations. Then I suggest we skip to the negotiations. 
I don't have any idea what you are talking about. Of course you do. Just name a price. Ms. Croft, are you deaf? I don't know. Let's see. Try begging for your life like you did the last time we spoke. Hurose! Give us who you are!